In the 1970s, a guy called Benjamin Lebet was investigating the subject of conscious free will when he made a remarkable discovery. In an experiment he was conducting, he wired up volunteers to EEG machines and other monitors and asked them to do nothing more than every now and again press to press a button. What he discovered was that the decision as to when to press the button did not originate in the grey matter of the brain itself. The decision to press the button preceded the volunteer's conscious awareness that the decision had already been made. In other words, there was an intentionality to a call to action which governed the mechanics of the physical movement of the hand and the finger as it pressed the button, which did not originate in the physiology of the grey matter of the brain. Since the intentionality of action is not an external force moving your body about the place, and since we know that it is not your brain which is making these decisions, then we must therefore conclude that if we agree that the aspect of your existence which controls your physical movements and operates only in the immediate present, then the only other option which is available where it can reside, and which therefore must be true, is that the intentionality of the call to physical action can only originate at the static nucleus of the atoms of which the body is made. Now, what we can logically deduce from Lebet's experiment is that regardless of where the intentionality of movement originates, the calculation required in the execution of the manoeuvre, uh, the direction, the momentum and velocity of the movement, which is required to perform the act, has already been worked out, calculated and determined before the actual physical act is carried out. Now, in the case of the volunteer pressing the button, the physical application of these forces and the subsequent motion of the finger represents the intentionality of movement, which is initiated by the prime consciousness. Now, the discovery made by Labet, of course, begs the question, if the intentionality of a call to physical action to move the finger and press the button does not originate in the grey matter of the brain, then just exactly where does the intentionality originate? The profound implication which is inherent in Lebet's discovery was that because we apparently have no conscious say in when we make any physical movement, then we have no free will and that therefore the universe is deterministic and that the, the future is already set out. However, the landscape of the universe as described by this model concludes that the deterministic block universe where the individual has no free will is a pile of pish. I aim to illustrate that it is a fundamental property of the universe that it is non-deterministic and that indeed every human being on the planet at a fundamental level controls their own destiny and is fully in possession of their own free will. Every voluntary movement you perform of any part of your body from the moment you were conceived to the moment you die is wholly and entirely determined by an aspect of your conscious awareness which exists and operates in the immediate present moment of time. I describe this aspect of, of our awareness of physical reality as the prime consciousness.